Who are the Vikings? The Vikings constitute the northern communities of Scandinavian origin that, during the Middle Ages, invaded and pillaged primarily the coastal settlements of Europe. What does the term Viking mean? There exist various interpretations regarding the origin and significance of the term. Some propose meanings such as the pirate hiding in the Gulf, the camper, or simply piracy. Others assert that the name originates from a specific region in Norway. These communities are known by different names among various nations, including Dan, Norse, Northern, Nordmani, Ascomani, and have also been referred to as Elmaju, Rose, Varangoy, Gale, Lachlanek. What is the Viking homeland? The homeland of the Vikings is Scandinavia. While these communities, comprising Norwegians, Swedes, and Danes, often exhibit internal divisions, Europeans commonly refer to them collectively as Viking. If you subscribe to the channel before the video, you will make me really happy. Now we can continue the video. When did the Vikings enter the stage of history? Vikings, who had resided in Scandinavia for centuries, first encountered the rest of Europeans in the year 789. According to an Anglo-Saxon chronicle, warriors arrived from the north in three ships, killing King Beortric's steward. This marks the earliest recorded information about them. How and when did the Viking invasion commence? The initial recorded northern invasion, commencing in the 8th century, targeted the monastery on the island of Lindisfarne in Britain in the year 793. The reasons behind the northern raids include the population explosion in Scandinavia during the 7th and 8th centuries, the booming maritime trade in Western Europe opening doors to new economic activities through piracy, and, crucially, the advanced level of Viking shipbuilding. These vessels, the foundation of the Viking invasion, enabled northerners to venture far from their homelands for plunder and colonization. What time period does the Viking Age encompass? The Viking Age spans from the 8th to the 11th centuries. What is the saga? Viking epics are referred to as sagas, serving as valuable sources for many details about the northern communities. How far did the Viking invasion extend? As depicted on the map, the Vikings reached wherever their ships could navigate, engaging in plunder or establishing commercial relationships with communities in these regions. Are the Vikings merely a barbaric people focused on plunder? The majority of Vikings were primarily farmers, fishermen, merchants, craftsmen, blacksmiths, or carpenters. Nevertheless, many of them led dual lives, alternating between overseas exploration and a more settled existence based on their professions. What did Vikings eat and drink? Vikings had two meals, one in the morning and one in the evening. Their morning meal typically included bread, porridge, oatmeal, milk, cold cuts, and fruit. The main meal, considered dinner, was more substantial, especially when everyone gathered at home after finishing their daily work. A wealthy farmer's dinner might include sausage, eggs, fish, milk, meat, and onions. Additionally, they enjoyed mushrooms, cheese, apples, nuts, strawberries, blackberries, and honey. Boiled or fried pork, beef, sheep, venison, and poultry were common, seasoned with wild leeks, garlic, horseradish, and similar herbs. Salt was obtained by evaporating seawater. Vikings often drank milk with beef or mutton, but their favorite beverage was beer brewed from barley and hops, served in wooden mugs or decorative horns. Nobles might use silver or glass containers for the same drink. What did the Vikings believe in? Vikings were a pagan community that believed in ancient Norse gods. They worshipped these gods in sacred groves and on islands. Regular sacrifices, including crops, animals, and occasionally humans, were made to appease the gods. They referred to the world they lived in as Midgard and believed it was under the protection of the gods. The mythological deity community living in Asgard, the god's castle, was known as the Asser, with Odin being the most significant, known as the father of everything. How did Vikings live in houses? Vikings lived in long rectangular wooden houses, averaging around 50 meters by 5 meters although house sizes varied. They typically had grass-covered roofs and lacked specially divided rooms or windows to minimize heat loss. Stoves in the middle of the house provided both light and heat. 
What was the place of women in Viking society? Women in Viking society held a status almost equal to men. They had the right to marry, divorce, acquire property, and leave an inheritance. When husbands went on sea raids, women managed households and protection, even resorting to violence. Women engaged in various occupations, including clothing making, spinning, brewing, and food preparation. They occasionally participated in trade raids and led free soldiers in battle. How did Vikings resolve conflicts? Vikings resolved problems in local affairs through public gatherings called Thing. Things, local open-air assemblies, convened at least twice a year, where free farmers had the right to participate. Although women could join Things, they were not granted voting rights. What hierarchy existed in Viking society? At the top of the hierarchy were kings, followed by large landowners known as Jarls, forming the aristocratic class. Beneath them were the Bondis, the free landowners constituting the majority of Viking society, and at the bottom were slaves, considered equivalent to animals. Who were Jarls? Jarls were a small but powerful aristocracy, local lords with significant lands and income. Elected leaders by the inhabitants, they served as both spiritual and military leaders. Jarls protected farmers in their lands, receiving economic and military support in return. They also financed the construction of Viking sailboats. Who were Bondis? The Bondis, forming the backbone of Viking society, were the free landowners. They engaged in agriculture, trade, and fought for their king and Jarls. Bondis participated in things, could gather around a leader for sea plunder, and valued their pride, leading to potential feuds between clans. Who led Viking raids? Middle-ranking warriors known as Herser organized the first Viking raids on the coast of Europe. A Herser was typically an independent landowner or local tribal leader. Where did Vikings attack first and plunder? When Vikings docked their ships for an attack, their primary target was unfailing monasteries, as they knew these held the most valuable goods. Was Viking society aggressive? The lack of central authority and a religious system to deter violence led Vikings to institutionalize violence. Violence was a part of daily life, and Vikings often resorted to unbridled aggression during invasions, resulting in dire consequences for invaded societies. What weapons did Vikings use? Vikings used long, straight, double-edged swords, as well as spears due to their cost-effectiveness. Ornate axes, chain armor, and shields, mostly oval in shape, were among their primary weapons. Vikings did not wear horned helmets as depicted in cartoons or old movies. Instead, they occasionally used helmets with fixed visors. What ships did Vikings use? The most iconic symbol of the Viking Age is the Viking sailing ship. These ships, often referred to as floating dragons, were a result of the northerners' proficiency in shipbuilding. Vikings used various ship types like Sexeringer, Carvi, Snekja, Ske, and Drekker, each with unique names like Rowing Horse, Surf Dragon, Golden Horn Deer, Ocean Crossing, and Big Snake. These ships could carry 70 to 80 warriors and were versatile in different water conditions. How did Vikings fight? Due to frequent quarrels and hunting traditions, Northerners were always ready for war. They engaged in combat using their preferred weapons and were well prepared for battle. What was the main naval battle tactic of the Northerners experienced in naval warfare? The primary naval battle tactic employed by the Northerners, who were well versed in naval warfare, was to approach their ships to the opponent and board them. Initially, they would shoot arrows from a distance, and as they closed in, the barrage continued with spears and stones. When in close proximity, warriors would raise their shields to head level and form a defensive line. Upon contact with the opponent's ship, they would engage in close combat by leaping onto the adversary. In larger sea battles, they would align ships side by side or form a wedge shape from their prow, creating a platform on the water surface for combat, resembling land-based warfare. What was the Vikings' favorite formation in ground battles? In ground battles, the Vikings favored a formation known as Skjaldborg, or Shield Wall. This formation constituted a deep phalanx with multiple lines, with better equipped warriors positioned in the front ranks. Additionally, the Vikings employed the Pig Sequence, a tactic learned from the Romans. 
What is a berserker? A berserker refers to Viking warriors believed to possess extraordinary powers attributed to Odin. They were thought to be as strong as bears, impervious to iron and fire. These warriors fought in a frenzied state, wearing wolf skins, and were believed to be so uncontrollable that they would bite their shields. The term going berserk in English reflects extreme anger and a loss of control, drawing from the behavior associated with these Viking warriors. What is Valhalla? Valhalla is the Hall of the Murdered in Norse mythology, where brave warriors killed in battle await Odin. Vikings believed that those deserving warriors would be resurrected in Valhalla and have the honor of fighting alongside Odin during the apocalyptic Ragnarok. This belief in an afterlife in Valhalla motivated Viking warriors to face death and battle without fear. What types of banners and flags did the Vikings use in wars? The most common symbol used by Vikings on banners to intimidate their opponents was the raven. It was believed that the flapping of a raven's wings foretold victory for the Vikings. How did the Vikings defend their cities and towns? Vikings defended their cities and towns with wooden, ring-shaped fortification systems known as the Trelleborg style. Did the Vikings discover America first? Yes, centuries before Christopher Columbus, Vikings discovered the new continent. Starting with settlements in Iceland in the 870s, they accidentally found Greenland in the 980s through Eric the Red and established two colonies. Eric's son, Leif Erikson, reached the shores of present-day Canada in the early 1000s, naming the area he attempted to colonize Vinland. However, this Viking discovery remained largely unknown to the rest of the world, except for a few Vikings. What is the secret of the Viking script in Hagia Sophia? In Hagia Sophia, on the marble parapet of the upper floor balcony, there is an inscription engraved in runic letters that reads, Havdan was here. It is believed that a Viking warrior who came to Istanbul as a mercenary during the Viking Age inscribed this article. How real are the characters in the History Channel's Viking series? The main character, Ragnar, and his sons Bjorn, Ivar, Sigurd, up in the History Channel's Viking series are a mix of semi-legendary and semi-real characters based on Viking sagas. While some argue that these characters may not have direct blood ties to Ragnar, they are depicted as being connected to him in the series. How did the Viking Age end? The Viking Age concluded in the 11th century as kings in Scandinavia strengthened their authority, leading to the decline of Viking activities. Additionally, the spread of Christianity in the region contributed to the end of the Viking Age. Thank you very much for watching the video until the end. If you like and subscribe to the video, you will make me very happy. Thank you again.